Masks aren't the only important thing needed to slow the spread of coronavirus. We also have to keep up social distancing. And right now, that means not having big family get-togethers for the holidays, especially indoors, which sucks. Please don't get me wrong, I get it. But does it suck more than having your loved ones die of COVID? Well, according to the Trump administration, yes. Yes, it does. Dr. Scott Atlas, who is one of the president's sources as, as it relates to the pandemic, and he has now come out and is talking about what, what people should be doing as they head into Thanksgiving with so much attention on the holiday right now. And this kind of isolation is one of the unspoken tragedies of the elderly who are now being told, don't see your family at Thanksgiving. For many people, this is their final Thanksgiving, believe it or not. What are we doing here? I think we have to have a policy, which I have been advocating, which is a whole person, whole health policy. No, man, this dude can't be serious. For many people, this is their final Thanksgiving? Really? I mean, yes, thanks to the Trump administration, it's definitely gonna be many people's final Thanksgiving, but still. And I love that, that whole whole person health policy. If you get corona, that's the whole thing. It's not like you're gonna say, well, I died of COVID, but damn, those mashed potatoes were great. Look, I do think it's important for people to see their families, especially around Thanksgiving. People look forward to it. But I also think it's more important to be able to see your family for the next 10 Thanksgivings, that they'll hopefully get to be with you in person after all of this is done. It's not like Americans aren't used to the idea of not going home for the holidays because they have to keep the country safe. American generals in World War II, they understood this. They weren't like, yes, beating Hitler is important, but what's the point of freedom if we have to miss cranberry sauce for one year? Let's go home, soldiers. And it's so hilarious that conservatives have ended up here. Because when this pandemic started, you remember? They said, we don't need to shut down the economy, just be safe and responsible. Then they were like, we don't have to wear masks just to protect the elderly. Now they're like, you know what? Bring the elderly in here. I can't fit all those leftovers in my fridge, okay? Get in here. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense why Trump is willing to risk old people being exposed to corona this much, unless, unless he thinks that it'll end up making him look good in the long run because you won't have old people dying if all the old people are already dead.